Colonoscopy is still the standard procedure for investigating questions related to diseases of the colon, for example, management and follow-up of polyps and carcinoma, investigation and management of inflammatory diseases, investigation of sources of bleeding, and investigation of unclarified abdominal pain. Experienced endoscopists classify about 10% of colonoscopies as difficult and intubation of the cecum might then be impossible. The main reason for this is the recurrent formation of loops, for example with mobile colon. The second most common reason is fixation of the sigmoid colon due to diverticulosis with prior diverticulosis or previous abdominal operations. This is particularly the case for female patients. Pediatric colonoscopes have a smaller diameter and are more flexible than standard colonoscopes and might increase the success rate of cecal intubation and accelerate the procedure. A high proportion of investigations that fail to reach the cecum with a standard colonoscope can be successfully concluded after changing to a narrow colonoscope. Combining a thin pediatric endoscope with a stiffening option has been found to be helpful. Studies have also shown that colonoscopy can be performed more gently with a gastroscope which is reflected in lower pain scores and greater patient satisfaction. In order to increase patient satisfaction, the patient is generally sedated. This greatly enhances the comfort of the investigation for both the patient and the investigator. Approximately 90% of patients in the USA are given sedation during screening colonoscopies. In contrast, only 9% of patients in Germany are given sedation in the mid-1990s, although the rate has now increased to more than 80%. The short-acting hypnotic propofol has a plasma half-life of 7 to 8 minutes and is being used increasingly. The advantages of using propofol are that the waking time is very short, patient satisfaction is good, and psychomotor activities are recovered very rapidly. Every patient has a right to an endoscopy that is as free from stress and pain as possible. It therefore seems justified that sedation should be available in principle. When propofol is administered by non-anesthesiologists, the standard procedure in Europe is the intermittent bolus administration. Different levels of sedation must then be distinguished. The spectrum ranges from minimal anxiolytic to moderate impaired consciousness but responsive to deep sedation difficult to wake but reacts to pain. In the study entitled Propofol Sedation for Colonoscopy with a new ultra-thin or a standard endoscope, a prospective randomized controlled study, Turks et al. conducted a prospective blinded randomized study to compare a new ultra-thin 9.5 millimeter flexible colonoscope with a current standard instrument with respect to propofol requirements primary endpoint, patient satisfaction, and the quality of the investigation. Here is a summary of the results. Background and study aims. The majority of colonoscopies in Germany are performed under conscious sedation. Previous studies reported that pediatric colonoscopes reduce the demand for sedative drugs and may improve cecal intubation. The aim of this study was to compare a new ultra-thin and a standard colonoscope in terms of propofol demand during colonoscopy. Patients and Methods A total of 203 patients were prospectively randomized to underscope colonoscopy with either a 9.5 mm ultra-thin colonoscope or a standard colonoscope of variable stiffness. Initially, 50 or 60 milligrams of propofol were administered according to body weight, followed by bolus injections 
of 20 mg as deemed necessary. Propofol was administered by a separate physician who was blinded to the endoscope used. Sedation levels were defined according to guidelines. Pains and complaints were recorded on a numeric rating scale. Results. Significantly less propofol was required to reach the cecum with the ultra-thin colonoscope, adjusted mean 94.9 mg, 95% confidence interval, range 85.7 to 105.0, versus 115.3 mg, 95% confidence interval, range 105.8 to 124.7, with a p-value of 0 0.003. The level of sedation and pain score were lower with the UTC. The rate of ileal and cecal intubation, time to reach the cecum, number of external compressions, withdrawal time, polyp and adenoma detection rate and patient satisfaction were not different between the two colonoscopes. The time to intubate the ileum was longer with the UTC. Conclusions. Use of a new ultra-thin colonoscope was associated with reduced propofol consumption, lower patient sedation levels and less pain than the standard colonoscope but ileal intubation time was longer.